Hey friends, it's Maria. As you can probably tell by all the information available to you on the screen right now. Um, today is one of those perfect is the enemy of done kind of days. So we're just going. Uh, I'm cleaning. I've been sewing, so I'm straightening a little. But here we are. We don't have 30 inks until April, but I've been like wanting to do a thing and then thinking what would be fun to do for February. And I thought, well, 30 inks is kind of like a celebration of excess, you know, 30 different inks. That's a lot frequently in 30 different pens. Um, and I intentionally, so, so anyway, I wanted to do more of a deep dive. So I have intentionally got myself the same pen model in five different nib sizes. So extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 1.1 stub. These have fingerprints on them, whatever, we don't care. And my current thought is that for each week in February, I will do a different ink. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do there for 25 videos or if I'm going to do four dedicated to this. Who knows? Um, but... That's where we're at with this. So some of these I just emptied and they had funk in them. But I'm impatient. So anyway, let's go. The ink I've chosen to start with is Dye Mineral Gray because I have two bottles of it because I like it. It's gray, which actually fits my mood and the weather. Um, I can't remember if I've rinsed this pen. We're gonna assume yes, because I just don't feel like it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, not fill, but put ink into these different pens. Look at that. This one's like, nah. Um, so I'm not going to fill them. I'm going to just put some ink because at the end of the first week, obviously I ha I'm dumping this to use another ink. That's our current plan. Um, this is definitely inspired by Kathy over at Gadget Stop 321. Is it 321? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 321. Because she does these deep dives on inks and also inspired probably by Manda B and Ink Splat and some of the amazing folks from her community. That's too much ink. Especially in an extra fine. Um, today was a gray day and I don't think it rained, but somehow it sounded like the cars were driving over rainy streets. Do you know what I mean by that? By that sound? I stayed in and I did sewing. You did sewing, Maria? Uh, I sewed a garment that is not quite done, but it got to a point where I could try it on and I was fairly dismayed to see that it didn't fit like I hoped it would. So that's a thing. It's a real bummer. It's a little bit big, but I don't know.
I'll wear it. Um, I've been dissatisfied with the pens I've had inked recently. Um, just kind of bored. Um, but I did empty two I wrote dry. A third, I just said, I'm done with you. Uh, to be fair, because I really wanted to do this thing and I had to use it, and it was never going to be done. Um, it'll be curious to see how different the color of this ink looks in these different pens, because obviously cleaning is imperfect. Some of these pens are not getting very much ink in them. But that should be okay. Because I'm aiming for like one or two days worth of writing. So in other words, I've definitely overfilled that extra fine. Maybe I'll find something I can do with it. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to use these pens. If I'm going to do transcription type stuff or, you know, whatever. So, somehow this cap isn't fitting on the bottle. I need help. So, let's see here. Um... So I started off with a really basic ink without much going on so that it can sort of teach me a little bit more about the pins themselves. And then I'm, I'm thinking that I'll do uh, an ink. This is my current thoughts that as they occur to me right this minute is that I should do an ink that's high in sheen, an ink that's high in shading, and then a shimmer ink. So week one, bog standard, ink named after tea that doesn't look like tea. I don't think I'm going to, um, uh, I don't. I think I'm going to put them in here. But I do think... Hey, 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 hey. I don't know. I think I'm going to put them in here. Earl Grey's got to be in here somewhere. I like that I made myself a whatchamacallit table of contents. There it is. That I just mostly ignore. Here it is, here we go, here we go. So, so far I've written with a Twisby Go with a broad nib. I have splatter all over this page. That's all great. Um, so, if you are curious about any of the inks that you've seen me talk about and would like me to feature them, feel free to suggest them in the comments. Um, where are we at? Mm -hmm. Mm 
We're just gonna listen to it. I hope that's okay. I want to like cheat these lines up a little bit. I need to not touch this page though because it's Cosmo. Oh, I didn't do the thing. Perfect. Yeah, I was just looking for my phone. It's right there. These are really similar in size. Did you just blank out? You're like, wasn't I gonna write a sentence? Maybe. So far, this is the juiciest. I don't like that in. Um, I've been watching Gardener's World and on BBC. And so then I bought seeds and I made plants. Well, no, I put them in dirt. 
let's put them that way. I put them in seed starting mix. They're not yet plants. Oh. Whoop, this one's gonna poop. Let's try and keep it from pooping on us. I think this one might have ladies bottom. Look, it's good enough. We have to just not be particular with ourselves sometimes and just give ourselves grace about the way that we write and how we misspell things and get caught up when writing a Z and forget how it goes because we don't write them very often. Right? Right. Or just leave out a C. Jeez Louise, Maria. You know what? It's okay, Maria. You're having a day. And you're still here making a video. We gotta do this really quick though. I think we gotta do this. This is gonna make us happy. Cool. So this is the first week here. We're gonna look at these and see what we think of it. I think this Hey, look, that's funny. It's facing the wrong way. I'm going to go run that over some micro mesh. See if that fixes my apparent over polishing. My initial thoughts are these two may as well be the same. And in fact, if you look at this, it has more expressiveness and line variation than the F. And if we go by smear, this broad was obviously <laughs> super juicy. So anyway, yeah, that's my plan for February is not 30 inks, 4 inks. If you have any requests or suggestions for which of the 4 inks, please feel free. Leave me a comment. Um, since this is the uh, sort of Standard one, I'm thinking uh, that the, the sheeny one is kind of up for grabs, but I definitely want to do one that's a little less lubricated, more of like a multi-shader or chromo shader, whatever we want to call these today. And then I really want to do one with shimmer, not obscene shimmer, like definitely not 
Cranberry Twinkle from Birmingham, for instance. But, so shimmer and shading, and then a fourth that could be a sheeny, or it could be something else. So if you've got one that you would love to see me look at, let me know. I'm thinking, personally, I'd rather do this with inks that I own bottles of, because I have to ink up five pins. I mean, not ink up. That implies, like, so much ink. But anyway, and then, again, I don't know if you're going to see me daily for, like, a little, like, oh, I like this pen, or if we'll just do a weekly roundup. But <sighs> thanks for hanging out with me on this Earl Grey of a day. <laughs> I hope that whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.